Hello everyone, I've got two Sky Factory 2. I'm here in front of my improved ME system. Ooh, ooh, what is it? Uh, basically, you spent a lot of work doing a lot of crafting because now the farms are running. Ah, oh, mm, so good. Um, there is one small problem it runs on hose which actually do break. So I've had to basically put a hopper with a load of hose on top of it, and that should last me a while though. Um, we just got some this shifting through some more stuff over here. Should be done soon though, but we can come over here and avoid the sound. Today, 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 oh yeah. Enchanting setup over here. You can see we're gonna have that very soon. I just need some more leather where I'm breeding the cows up there. And you can see I've cleared out all the chests and stuck it all in my ME system, which is now quite full. So I'm gonna have to get some more memory discs to deal with this soon because I'm running out of types rather than space. Types is my issue at the moment. Oh yeah, you can come over here and see we've um, been breeding some of the animals. Ooh, the cow's grown up. That means I can breed them again. Feed you. Okay, um, bugger off again. Leave you be. You can see I've been messing around with some of the new blocks as well because I realised all that essence of obsidian I got, I don't actually need obsidian for that much now because um, all I needed it for was this never port one that's done so I've basically been messing around with chisel in a few places to try and get some cool things as you can see Scott I never thought I would use lime green cobblestone till I played Sky Factory that's lime green cobblestone lime green glowstone and the reason for that is basically I was having mobs spawn on this at night because I can't put torches on it because obviously the trees get cut down and at the same time uh, I couldn't really do much to stop mobs spawning, so I put this little sort of glowstone platform on the top, and that way, when these trees grow, they are still lit up. Um, there you go. You can see the light level on them is now suitable, so that's cool. And I used the chisel to get some green blocks, so it looks more like um, leaves. So yeah, there we go. We're making good progress. Let me just quickly check. I think when I'm using my yeah, while I'm... ooh, hello. Minus 35 RF. What if I turn this off? Because I think this is where most of my RF is going. Yeah, there we go. While my... Um, the pulverizer is on, I lose energy. But while it's off, I gain energy. So um, I have to just be careful about that. I may need to make some more uh, energy storage cells, or whatever they're called, so I can get them. We've also made some more lily pads of fertility over here. See, got these. So these are growing really quick now, and I can't wait to have this thing done. Uh, we are moving towards um, getting the diamond one. We need one more zivikio essence. Um, let me just see how many I've got. Oh, I might have enough to do that today, actually. So let's have a quick. So we get the mini kyo. Go like this. Bam, 22. I think that's about enough. And then it's ACO. Like this. And this is basically all I've been doing to try and get these. Whoops. Oh, that's the uh, wrong stone. Bam. Then it's Crucio. No, not Kirk. Crucio. I think we might be a bit short. Yeah, we've only got one. And then the um, Crucio turns into Imperato. Imperato. Yeah. So we see we're still trying to work our way up that upgrade tier to get the diamond seed. But I want to go through the uh, auto crafting system that I'm setting up. So rather than in the old versions where we had this big um, recipe cube that could store the recipes and then we could do it, we have this. It's called a molecular assembler. You could put a pattern in there and it will basically request it. Now instead of that, this is my interface where I have all the items coming in from uh, here and here, uh, from down below. As you can see there, there's the item pipe that comes you can probably see it but there you go. There's the item pipe that just comes up into this interface. But you can see I've put these blank patterns in here. And these basically allow me to put the uh, recipe straight into there as a crafting table. So the first one I made was a blank pattern. So this is ah, this is the pattern terminal which makes me make new patterns. So you can see I've got a blank pattern there. I can request one to be made. And that gets quickly done up there, you just saw it for a brief flash and we can then put sync in that. Now I needed these uh, storage CPUs and basically if I'm crafting something 
this is the memory cell that gets used for it. So that it's like a uh, computer. You tell a computer to do something, it needs somewhere to store it in the RAM. This is a similar sort of process. So this stores whatever I'm crafting in memory, and this actually produces it. Now on top of that, we have this over here, which is just a furnace with a export no import. I think it's import. Yeah, an ME import bus on the bottom. Uh, ME import bus will basically take something out of the network into the network. That's from outside the network into the network via this interface. And it does that by uh, just taking out the bottom like a hopper would. So if I put some cobble in there, it will work. Now in here, I'm going to put some basic items. So you can see we have one glass to make one sand. Uh, that's the example one. I will make another one now, which will be click here. We go to processing pattern. Now I need to do this manually. One stone to make one smooth stone. I can encode that. Now if I come over here and place that in there, then I order... Okay, let's just clear these out so I can do that. Okay, craft me eight, because that'll be one charcoal's worth. Start. There you go, see it's throwing it in there. And then it will should throw it back in when it's done. And we can click here. Okay, I thought that would uh withhold it. There we go. But yeah, that's doing that. That's okay, I guess that sort of really knows it's doing it. So we're getting that and it's just sending the stone straight back in via the import bus. So that's awesome. Next we have the interface, which is just a quick way for me to be able to change these things out, you know, if I want to. Um, you can see this is two. Now the reason it has two is there's this interface here, which we know about. There's this other one here. If I can just get up here. There's this other one I've attached to the side, which is like a small attachment like these windows are. Uh, basically you craft them by getting the regular interface so if it's, let's craft one of these, see if it works so you see things going on there, there you go you basically craft these by putting them in here and you get a flat interface and that basically lets you sort of be a bit more compact uh, the reason I didn't do that there I don't know really, I could change that into a compact one if I have a uh, ME cable I do, there we go so what I can do is I can grab these out, uh, pick this up, pop that there, and put a cable there. And it just looks a bit better, do you see what I mean? Now I can put these back in here. And if we go back to the uh, interface terminal, it still it recognizes that it's attached to a furnace and it still works. So that is cool. Um, I will want to replace this furnace with, probably use my alloy smelter actually. I could probably just do that right off the bat. Let's grab you. We're going to try this today. We're going to grab you out. We'll have to figure out a way to power it, though. Uh, I'll probably have to come up from underneath. Let's grab you, because I don't think you're really needed. I'll just pop you behind for now so you're still connected. Okay, now we need some energy. No. Do I have any? I'm out of energy conduits. I must be. Okay. So let's get some iron. Where the hell's my iron? There we go. And some redstone. Now this will hopefully have enough to do me free and free. If so, then we can make a conduit and connect it up. Yep, let's take that out. Okay. So then we just need... It's weird, I'm sure I had some left, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have enough power to do that. So we're connected up with that. Um, I can actually grab one here because this isn't going to be. Whoops, that was not the one I wanted to hit. So let's put that back in before everything breaks. Because <laughs> that is definitely not meant to happen. Okay. And then I just need to extend the, uh, da, 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 the energy conduit down this way to here. And now I'm going to have to set this to be push. So let me see. If it, what was that? Something broke. That wasn't a good sound. Everything looks the same, but let's see if we have any um, iron conductive iron. Oh, okay, so yeah, that is still going straight in, which is awesome. I'll be able to make a 
uh, processing pattern for it as well. Um, so let's wait for it there, there you go, pop in. And I can get the conduit binders. And that, this will let me actually craft up some auto ones as well once I get it going. Okay, so let's jump down here. I'm going to have to be careful with this one that I don't request two of the same thing at once though. Right, so bring you over down and there. So now you should have power again. Awesome. And now I've got uh, my furnace in a better place as well because it was a bit annoying having to run over there. Right, so let's have a test. Are you gaining power? You're gaining power. Let's request some glass. Let's just request the one. Oops, I forgot I had the... In the old ways you didn't have to click, you just clicked okay, glass. Okay, you seem to be making it. Cool, so we'll make another pattern. Uh, give me a blank pattern. Ah, oh, we don't have any glowstone. Or iron. Oh yeah, because I've got all the iron on me. Okay, so what we do quick is we will craft some glowstone from here. There we go. It's always nice that I can just do that. Uh, now we can make this. Ah, but my CPUs are being used by this glass, which for some reason doesn't recognize that it got it. Hmm. That's going to be a bit annoying. Okay, what if I set this top bit to pull? Okay, let's clear this quickly, just so we can move on. Um, make me a plank one, okay. Uh, clear that, then we want to get a bit of redstone and a bit of iron. I just realized I actually need to cook one as an example. There we go. So that's weird that it's not actually recognizing the input from this one. Whereas it did from the other one. I've also realized I could probably save myself a bit of wiring by setting it to uh, push out the side. So we will do that in a bit. Um, but I need this electrical iron. So this is all I'm really doing at the moment. There's bits of fiddling to get this machine to work how I want it to work. And hopefully save me some effort. So we do that. To get this, and we will put that there. We will throw all this into here, and I will try and request two electrical. I need two plus one, two. Start. It looks like it's working, so now it's just a matter of will it understand that it's been produced? I'll have to keep an eye on that because. If not, I'm going to have to try and figure out why. Or if I need to add another interface or something. Or, what if I... Okay, let, let it make one. Okay, so it's made one. Okay, okay, it seems to be tracking these ones, so that's okay. Let's, let's worry. I will move these wires around. Or, I wonder if I can turn out the pull and push. So let's grab my cobble and regular stone so I can uh, go down to the platform real quick so there you go, we've got nothing spawning over there now despite it being night so we'll come down here and we're just going to build this out a bit further just so I can definitely get to the oh, come on I, I can't believe I died in the last episode or you know while off camera on the last episode. I hate the Yeti Wrench for scrolling sometimes. Right. There we go. This is what we need. So we want to just grab these. Okay. Run back. And then I want to just... I'm going to try first to just turn this top bit to push slash pull. Right. So now if we request a Let's request free because they're easily done in freeze. Okay, so it's smelting them. Now, if I'm lucky, it will hopefully take it out the top as well. Let's grab my quartz cables back. If not, I'll try and make it so it pushes out the side. And as long as that still counts, well, apparently it does. So, <laughs> oh, because I put the free in, it probably thinks that's crafted it. Ah, I see. Let's see. You'll make one now. 
Oh, cool. So I can do that without needing to do the extra bit down here. So we don't even need an input bus for this thing because it's smart enough to be able to push and pull. Um, there we go. I want to get this up and just change this to be uh, nothing. There we go. Sweet. So we have this now set up for smelting. So what I could do is um, just set up a load of things to do that. Uh, I can. It, yeah. I'm going to quickly show you what I plan to do with the molecular assembler as well. Uh, so let's figure out how to make one. Molecular assembler. It's quite easy actually. Ah, I don't have any quartz glass yet. So this is one of the patterns I made because it's just, I need it. Oh, I don't have any surface quartz dust. Really? We have no surface quartz dust? Sir. Huh, okay, so we're starting to run low on that. So let's just. Uh -huh. Is there a way I can make it with extra yield? Let's see. I'm going to smell it. Sagma gives me one, pulverizer gives me one. Okay. So let's just make, I don't know, five. One, two, three, four, five. I need to be able to produce more of these, but I'm pretty sure if we go to uh, magical crops, there is a. Actually, let's just do quartz seed. There you go, we can make normal quartz seed. These are the, like, certus quartz seeds, and I'm not too sure how they work because I've tried and it just didn't like it. But I can make never quartz. At the very least, as it's done. Yep. Thank you. Alright, I just want to get this done. Okay. In you go. Uh, so let's make uh, 10 quartz glass, which I can do now. Okay, and then with that, I just need a crafting bench. Which is easy enough. I'm just going to put a few in there because we need them for other things. And we can make a molecular molecular assembler. Okay, uh, we'll go to the processing pattern for that. Give me a blank one so I can save it because we're going to want a few of these. So we can make a molecular assembler inside a molecular assembler now. So let's give that a test. Okay, make me one. Yep, do that. Sweet. And what I want to do is just get a load of these interfaces, these ones here, and build one that's pretty much surrounded in them. Um, I could do it there. That would look quite cool. Yeah, let's do that. So take that out quick and then pop that in there. And then I can surround this with um, interfaces. Interface. Okay, turn it to that one. And can I craft... Okay, we need more dust than processors, so I'll have to work on them first. But I've got the interface now, and we can come around here. And stick that there. And I, if I just make a load of patterns for basic crafting things, that can be my basic crafter. And then I need to make a bigger CPU and all that sort of stuff. But I'm adding to my network, so I need to check my power. Ooh, we're fluctuating a bit. We're up, we're down, we're doing nothing. One two one one two three one two. I think in general we're still going up, but it's a lot slower now. So what I might want to do is make an extra charcoal furnace. I think if I had two, I'd be able to do this a lot better. So I'm going to revamp this area, um, build a few more of the end of IO machines to just generate more power per tick. But this is definitely getting to a good stage. So let's have a look at our book. So, back to the machine age. We still haven't done anything new, actually, thinking about it. Um, cyclic assembler. What is that? Cyclic assembler. That's from final expansion. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, yeah, we, we've done auto-crafting another way, so we're going to be quite happy with that. Okay, so uh, we're nearly there. I nearly got my diamond seeds, but you know, oh, oh, I know what I could do with these. So if I get my um, 
first thing I'm going to make basically is going to be the ways to get the essences made up into their other things and that's going to be in here which I think will look quite cool um, aside from that I need to get more Certus dust and the best way to get that is in this current pack see if there's any way I can get it, it's going to be dust in the sieve by the look of it so I'm going to make a couple of some dust and we will be back next time where we'll have this set up ready to also craft me some things and I might actually do some building in the next episode I might make um, some farms sort of thing Ooh, hello. and by farms I mean like cow farms and things like that there you, go. you will breed up and you, there you go lots of leather for this enchanting table is the only issue and I can make some leather seeds or cow essence seeds which I think will drop me leather but I want to get my diamond one first but I think that will just about do, let me just check the hose see we've already gone right through one in this episode so you know go through them pretty quick but the yield is pretty good so if we look at our see we've already got 19, we've got redstone we've got over a stack so I'm going to make a load of that into that real quick just so we got it and yeah uh, as always if you've enjoyed the video feel free to like subscribe all that uh, check out my patreon page and all that good stuff um, I think this might have been a shorter episode than usual but we have done everything in one take which is what I like I prefer videos like that I don't don't like cutting away it's just an unavoidable um, thing that has to happen sometimes uh, I need to get this hooked up to my ME system really so I'll try and do that for next episode as well because this is something I really need to be on the auto crafting system oh whoa the, I'm sure the coloured lighting just changed there that was weird well, I'm going crazy either way but anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one toodles